Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video ahead of a bunch of sales that will certainly be kicking off in the next week or so. Want to give you guys a video of uh, the Steam game deals under the price of $5 right now, but before we get into this video, a quick word from our sponsors, our good friends over at Atlas. This video is brought to you by Atlas and Sega and Persona 5 Tactica. Join the Phantom Thieves as they lead an uprising of the heart, assemble an all-star team of heroes in a brand new story in this thrilling combat adventure set in Persona's iconic universe. This is a brand new tactical RPG featuring the characters you know and love and obviously some new introductions as well. A lot of depth in the gameplay. And a lot of replayability as well. The game is set after a strange incident. The Phantom Thieves wander into a bizarre realm where its citizens are living under tyrannical oppression. Surrounded by a military group, they find themselves in grave danger until a mysterious revolutionary rescues them and offers an enticing deal for their help. Persona 5 Tactica features an all-new story, the return of fan-favorite characters, and brand new allies and foes. It's an emotional revolution. You'll be able to build your dream squad and assemble a team of beloved heroes to fight oppressive armies in thrilling turn-based combat, dynamic combat as well, overthrow your enemies with various powerful personas, an assortment of weapons, and wipe them out with immense style. Most of you guys have played Persona 5 Royal. It's one of the greatest JRPGs of all time. Readily available on all platforms, and now you're getting these characters in a whole new style of experience with Persona 5 Tactica that should also be a love letter to those of you that played Persona 5 Royal. Persona 5 Tactica releases on November 17th, and it'll be coming to Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Windows PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, and on Steam. If you want to know more information, check out the link in the description box below. As I've been talking about, there's going to be a lot of great deals available on Steam and other platforms for Steam Keys for really the next month and a half or so. There's going to be a lot of great stuff, but we'll get to that when all of those deals go live. Right now, there's still a lot of good deals under the price of $5, so let's get right into it. First of all, we have Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered Edition. Well, I wasn't crazy about the name of Remastered Edition. It makes sense within the context of the game. I get that. Um, but Red Faction Guerrilla is an awesome game. Now, yes, is it an early earlier open world game? Certainly it is. It was released in the middle of 2009. That's kind of when I feel like open world games started exploding. I feel like, you know, GTA 4 came out around then. You had like Infamous 1, Prototype, and then Red Faction Guerrilla as well. Um, and you saw open world games. I feel like around that era become more and more popular. Red Faction Guerrilla was a relatively barren open world in terms of detail, but the great element of Red Faction Guerrilla was the destructibility. Just going around with a sledgehammer and, you know, Smashing everything inside, smashing everything inside. That was a lot of fun, and the gameplay itself was pretty good. For $4, I think it's a solid pickup. Uh, also available for $4, we have Red Faction Armageddon. Now, this is more of a straightforward, uh, shorter Red Faction experience. It still has some fun for sure. I definitely preferred Gorilla, but uh, Armageddon is still some fun. It is a little bit rough around the edges, but I'd say for $4, it's a decent pickup as well. Next up, we have Ubisoft's Child of Light. A Child of Light is a game that I often recommend, and currently it is 70% off for $4.49, which I think is a fairly solid deal all things considered. Uh, Child of Light is a game that's not super lengthy. It's a, it, it is also very, very accessible. Don't expect something super, super difficult, but uh, for what you got, I think it's a quality game, and uh, art style is great. Story is pretty interesting, and I wish Ubisoft would do more uh, unique titles like this. I get it that, you know, Assassin's Creed is always going to be more popular, and um, even their other IPs, they're going to be more popular than a Child of Light, but uh, I thought the game was quite good, and for $4.49, decent pickup there. Next up, we got to talk some games in in the Arcane sale. So obviously we got to give a mention to Dishonored. Dishonored 1 is 75% off for $249. There is the Dishonored Definitive Edition, which is $499. That includes the DLC. Great game, of course. You can't go wrong with Dishonored. Great action stealth title. Then, of course, we have Dishonored 2, which is down to $2.99. This deal may very well be highway robbery. $2.99 for Dishonored 2 is a disgustingly good deal. Uh, Dishonored 2, a follow-up to Dishonored 1, has two playable characters in Corvo Atano and Emily Caldwin. Uh, so a little bit of replayability there, and the gameplay is as good as ever. Uh, Dishonored 1 was a fantastic game. Dishonored 2 builds upon that, and I thought it was quite good as well. Um, I know some people prefer Dishonored 1, and I probably, honestly, 
at the time of playing the game, like, Dishonored 1 hooked me more, maybe because it was the first game in the franchise, but I enjoyed Dishonored 2 as well, um, but Dishonored 1, man, I have a lot of nostalgia towards that game, and it's kind of wild saying you have nostalgia towards a game like Dishonored because it still feels like it's kind of a recent IP, but, uh, it came out 11 years ago, which is kind of wild to think about, but nevertheless, Dishonored 1... Available for $250, Dishonored 2 at $299. And then, also, Arcane's Prey is $2.99. Another fantastic game. Prey is a really solid sci-fi, atmospheric, first-person title. Incredibly immersive. Decent bit of content here. Definitely more of a, a psychological title. Um, the Prey IP, as far as it being tacked onto this game, I don't know if that was, like, the best decision in the world. And uh, even, you know, some of the developers spoke out about that. Uh, this was the same team that did Prey 2017, which I, back when this game came out, I often noted that this was one of the most underrated games of that year. This was the same team that brought you Redfall, which is kind of wild to think about. I wish they just did a follow-up to this title or something uh, similar to this. But we can't always have nice things, can we? But uh, Prey, certainly $2.99, a great pickup. Should also note, there's a Prey and Dishonored 2 bundle, $4.84. If you really want to talk about highway robbery, like, this is highway robbery. Like, Prey and Dishonored 2 already for 3 bucks a pop was crazy. But the bundle for 484, like, come on now. If you don't have either of these games, just slap yourself and then go buy this because uh, this is a ridiculously good deal for two great, great games. I would recommend you to play Dishonored 1 before 2, but uh, yeah, that's my two cents on that. Next up, want to give a shout out to Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend. 85% off for 449. Now, Blaze Blue was really the last fighting game franchise that I was super into from a competitive standpoint. And my competitive days with this franchise really was with Calamity Trigger. Uh, that's the 2009 game and after that is like when I fell off I was like all right like I think I'm done with fighting games and then obviously after that I moved on to like League of Legends so like really not a great trade-off but Chrono Phantasma Extend has a pretty interesting story component as well Blaze Blue's story is just uh kind of out there kind of wild but still very much uh worthwhile to go through the character designs are awesome and the aesthetics visually game is great and soundtrack is awesome as well Jin's theme song oh that that's one of the best fighting game theme songs I think I've ever listened to, and uh, the rest of the soundtrack is really solid as well. Always, these games got great openings as well. The anime openings, they're great, so... And check that out, 449, goodbye there. Geometry Wars Retro Evolve, 50% off for a buck ninety nine. Always liked me, Geometry Wars. As a twin-stick shooter, it's super simplistic, but it's a lot of fun. I'm not saying spend a egregious amount, but, you know, it's $4 for its regular price, and right now it's 50% off for a buck ninety nine. so obviously I would say if you want to shoot them up, uh, twin-stick shooter, this is a pretty good one and definitely a throwback with a lot of great particle effects in there as well. Prototype is 75% off for four ninety nine. mentioned this a little while ago, but came out around the same time as Red Faction. Gorilla. Uh, Prototype had the unfortunate fate of being released right at the same time as Infamous, and they kind of went back and forth as far as, you know, superhero open world games at the time. They were two kind of similar games in terms of premise, and Infamous just turned out to be the way better game. But Prototype was fun as well. Even though it had PS2 era visuals, uh, it really made you feel like a badass. And when it comes to superhero games, uh, making you feel like an over-the-top badass, I think, is very, very important. And I feel like Prototype absolutely nailed that from a gameplay standpoint. Again, D Detail, textures, those aren't great. Story isn't even anything blow away, but uh, $4.99 for this, I think it's pretty good, and I would check it out. Next up, we have Blade Assault. A 2D action roguelite platformer. Played a lot of this on my Steam Deck and had a really good time with it. If you like action platformers, you'll enjoy this quite a bit. Has a throwback art style as well. Pixel graphics look uh, quite like that as well. 80% off for $3.59. Not a bad buy. And then Icy. This is a great deal. 65% off for $3.84. Now, Icy is a relatively short game, but uh, visually, aesthetically, it's a great game. And if you're into side-scrolling action games, something that'll be uh, right up your alley. Uh, thematically, pretty interesting as well. You know, full price it can be a little pricey but at 384 i think this is just a fantastic deal and i would strongly give it a recommendation at this price point so definitely check out icy as well but that'll do it for me again a lot of great deals available on steam and various other platforms right now these are all available directly on steam and a lot of deals are to come so if you don't pick anything up right now as I've always said, not a big deal. Hell, if you skip the autumn sale, if you skip the winter sale, not a big deal because deals are abundant these days and you guys know how this game is played. After the autumn and New Year's sale, I'm sure all your favorite detailers are going to have the New Year smash saving sale or some nonsense like that. And I say nonsense, but it'll be great deal, so... You know, it's a good thing at the end of the day. But that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.